Well, good evening, good day, good morning, hello. I'm Karen Bartlett. This is my Deadpool t-shirt that Dave slagged off. But um, yeah, you're all very welcome to the third episode of No Blasters with Karen Bartlett. Today's guest is none other than the Tully Carnot. What would you? What What begins with T? The Tully Carnot Tornado. He came up with that himself. I mean, it's always good when you come up with your own nicknames. Yeah. Um, the third you know, hearty brother. That's why they call me the big Yin. Uh That's why they call me <laughs> the, <laughs> the Pepsi Max. That's what they call me. That's fucking So, um, uh, <laughs> William Thompson, everyone. <laughs> we got there in the I know, end. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fuck. Kieran started nicknaming lo- himself. I, lo- I know, I lost myself. I lost her. <laughs> I lost the roll of myself. What's crack anyway? You all right? All good, mate. All good. But sleep devri- deprived? Sleep derived. Sleep um, derived. Sleep yeah. deprived. What from? Just not sleeping. So. <laughs> That's good. Insomnia, Fight Club. Just, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I'm very I'm in a very silly mood right now. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm glad that you drove. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> can't say deprived, but yeah. can do a parallel park. Yeah. Um, well, the way we do this on uh, No Blasters, mate, is. We'll go to the league and we we'll, I'll randomize it. Okay. And we can both veto the league once. Okay. And and then we'll both pick teams from the league we decide on, right? Okay. Bye. So uh here we go for the first randomize of the leagues. Mate I'll take it. The France well, League well. One. We were discussing this on the last episode with Dave Elliott because it was uh it was sponsored by Uber Eats, which we were both very happy about. Mm-hmm. But then uh, Dave Rage quit. So if um, how did it go? Because I wasn't privy to the he was the he games. Was, he was put to the sword. There were there were there were settings issues that will probably have affected our friendship. Yeah. Um But he was he was he was kicked in the touch, as they say. So um, now now when we come to the teams, we can each randomize up to three times. You can veto it. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna randomize mine anyway to see if we have a chance of getting PSG. Yep. So, <coughs> Saint Etienne. Don't want to be Lille again because that's who I was last week. <gasps> Suck my fucking uh, dick, Mister Bartlett. So I can do. It's Doctor Bartlett. Don't fucking demote <laughs> me. Don't come into my house and demote me. Um, Your PhD doesn't matter on the pitch. Oh man, I think I might have to stick with Monaco. Right. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick with Monaco. Right. But I'm going to randomize it one more time just to see what I would have got, right? Okay. Here's what you would have won. Oh, thank fuck. Yeah, you made right? a good choice. Yeah. The Gironda. Let's see. Here we go. Who was it again? Monaco? Where are they? Yeah. Are they A.S. Are they Monaco? Are they yeah. right now? Yeah. So, uh, Ask Monaco. let's do it. Uh, do you have any dicky, uh, dicky settings, do you? I do. I do. Oh no, is God. it the end of the world if I can't do them? Absolutely, yes. So we're going to do Professional. Professional, mate. <laughs> oh, mate, I have fucking Ben Yedder up front. I'll take that. Do you know what? This is exactly the formation I play. I never play this formation, but I might I might try it for now because it's their fucking go-to. It's actually freaking me out how very close this is to what I would play. That's a bit deep for I me. I mean, also, to be fair, with PSG, you yeah. could probably stick them in fucking... 398 and yeah. still win like you know what I mean uh, this is gonna be weird for me right and that you'll look at me like a mental when I play FIFA I have to stand up now I'm not gonna do it for the show obviously but I stand up you stand to play FIFA I well st- I stand to wipe my arse st- so <laughs> which you, I didn't know was weird until are you you do long. that you do that too yeah, do you stand to wipe I stand to wipe my arse yeah. do, you, do you think that's weird I don't do you think... know when you're doing it? It's weird. I do now, but I didn't. No, 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 not until it's been pointed out to me that it's weird. Yeah, that's that's my that's my sort of uh, thing as well. I I didn't know it was weird until people said, not not that like people didn't just like yeah, why are you the wiping your in front of a crowd? People didn't just come in. Like I wipe I mm. wipe the eye brilliant. Um, <laughs> couldn't even finish. I couldn't even be fucked finishing it because I knew it was a shit joke. I uh... um. But yeah, no, I stand to play for you. I stand to play anything that requires intense concentration. Jesus. Always did it you as a kid. You need to your legs to think. Always did it as a kid. Mad. I used to, this is, I honestly think I've ADHD looking back. When I used to get really into playing games when I was younger, this was a real problem when I was a kid. My parents were at their wits end. I used to shit myself. 
You used to shit yourself I when you were playing games? Why playing? Because I wouldn't, my brain wouldn't go go to the bathroom. I'd be just um, shit myself. Have we got man nappies? Because... Sponsored I, by man nappies. I know. I didn't fucking know that that was the thing. You need to press A, by the oh, way. Oh, it's so, me, yeah. Yeah, I think you're, yeah. I'm running this shit. Yeah, so, mate. Best of let's, all. Let's see. The so minute best, I can best, see it, I'm uh, kicking off. It's best of three. Um... So, uh, right. what's been the cracker anyway? Have you many gigs planned? Or uh, I'm in Oma everything? tonight for a dry January gig, so a completely sober crowd, less than to me do 20 dry. minutes of new material. I'll, that sounds like a good crack. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but so, that's all I have. It sounds like the sort of gig where, as a comedian, you're possibly setting yourself up for disaster, but could also be amazing. Oh, what are you doing, Hakimi? Um... Yeah, it's gonna be. It's you know what? I just I, I need the new material out. Yeah, and yeah. I'm forcing myself to do it. I've thrown all my old stuff away, pretty much. I hate getting rid of old material. So do I. Mean, I'm a hoarder. Or, yeah, like, I'm a hoarder in real life. I I'm a sort of, I you know I got definitely got this off my dad. We used to have there was a but. Do you know what I think? I think there's residue of settings from last time here. Is there? I was going to say, because there might be. things that I'm doing yeah, are not what I'm hitting. But you know what? Oh, we'll fix it next game. I don't really give um, Ooh, well, good play, good play. What about... Uh, yeah, my, my dad used to have this fucking box of, like, all our old phones and stuff. Uh-huh. Not, like, mobiles. I mean, like, ancient landlines that we were no longer using. In case like something went wrong with the one we did have, and he'd be like, "Here, you might get like the like a resistor or a transistor or something like that that you need." Because he was like, he "Why was is your that... dad playing Fallout Five in real life?" Because he was that good at fixing shit, <laughs> and he didn't he didn't like the um you know if he could fix it himself. Yeah. He did, why involve? He was a man's man. You know what I mean? Yeah, see to me, see me, because I'm so not that anyone who can fix anything, it may as well be fucking magic as far as I'm yeah, concerned. Yeah, man, I'm the same. Like. My dad used to look at me in a in a way as if to say, "Why do you not understand these basic concepts?" And I'd yeah. be like, "Okay, uh, well, I can, you know, I can fucking win a game with uh, AS Monaco." But yeah. um, I mean, you're not doing it yet, but yeah. Well, 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 though I can sense that it's it's on route, mate. If, to use the Francais, but, I was um, on route once I got PSG. No, um, <laughs> I have friends who like can fix cars, and they always go to me like, oh, "Why, why have you never learned to do it?" Oh, I'm no, like, "Cause the government does it for me." Yeah, well, I, I smash in the people, just fuck a DLA business card at them, and like, <laughs> ring that, <laughs> ring that. I'm away. <laughs> Hope your child's all right. <laughs> 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 that's fucking amazing yeah man, that is, I'm such a cavalier attitude ring life. that is so good <laughs> unbelievable do you know what, what it's... do you do you um, how often do you get a, a new mobile then uh, once every three you're pretty much leasing it no I mean you don't own it but it's Aye. like once every three years oh you? you put through my legs you dirty bitch oh I thought I was going to score there oh mate how how uh who gives a fuck if you're leasing it? You're getting a fucking a new, new motor yeah. the, the drive every. And you three. can get uh, whatever car you want. However, I don't go flashy with it. Do you know what I mean? I very much drive a car for purpose. Keeper. Keeper! No! No! <laughs> no, I was shit. We got that? We got that on tip? No, I was shit. <laughs> I was shit. <laughs> this is my life this is my life look at this keeper what is it about fifa that just brings out the anger in men it's because i saw it coming why does he not see it coming he's in the fucking game <laughs> he's in it we twat <laughs> your keepers had the fucking game of his life so far as well in psg fucking bro. saving volleys and all <laughs> fucking Oh. My team's worth more than Greece's economy, of yeah, course. The yeah. keeper better be pulling off fucking saves. Your team... Oh, mate. No. Right. No. <laughs> I'm not happy with how this is starting, mate. Uh, I feel like... Am I going to make you walk off your I know, own I'm gonna, show? I'm going to do, do it, Dave. Look um, at that. Look at that. Oh, mate. This is fucking disgusting. Do you know what's disgusting about it? I know I'm fucking... I'm playing better. Although that was awful. A pass. No. He's a wee dick, Ken. <laughs> oh, that was always a fun. Ref. Ref's trying to make us all about himself. Do you see that? See, the thing with cerebral palsy, free kick's very hard to do. 
you know what I mean? They require in real oh. in real life or just on FIFA? Both. Yeah. Both. Uh, in FIFA though, you know, they're very fine. You have to really get the right I angle, know. and my fingers don't stay still. I, I don't. I the don't women like... love it though, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't know his way around Xbox. <laughs> it knows his way around his ex's box. <laughs> so um. Did you see Kanye West was stalking Kim Kardashian in her bushes? Of course he was. Was Not, he actually? Haven't even made that up. I didn't think she he had bought- a bush. <laughs> you. <laughs> he, uh... Did you see our filthy through ball? No! Yes, oh! ref! I, ref, accord. Yeah. No, oh, he's, he's let you off. Fucking he did, right he there. did let me off. I thought I'd made it. <laughs> I love this! You have made I have yeah. to hide my face. I call it an Xbox burka. Oh, he sends him the wrong way. He did. You've asked me for directions and I've turned around to you and I've said, upon the hill across the lake. You fucking fell my first heartbreak. Did you ever hear that He's queer fucking chipper now, isn't he? This is the, what was that? The, the, these are the manic highs. What is that song that's going to annoy me now? I know, it's, it's, it was on a radio this morning. Sing it it's again. Acro- it's like, uh, what was it? Upon the hill across the lake. That's where I had my first heartbreak. Don't you worry, yeah. child. Space house mafia. You were you speaking in Irish, sir? Because I didn't. <laughs> Go on, you wee dick. Oh, <laughs> oh he should have. He should have. <laughs> Major keeper. Who is that? Donna Ruma. Yeah. Fucking unreal. He's he's having the game of his life. Did you ever see he's about nine feet tall as well? He's, oh, he's fucking ridiculous. Ben McCool and Big that. fucking Caitlyn Jenner hands on him too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, that's mate. that's you know that's not bigoted. She's she's a woman with big hands. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just facts, mate. Why are you all trying to get me cancelled? I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm so. I'm. I don't even. You have me. Yeah, you have. You have me on a show. You're gonna get this. I never know when to stop. <laughs> do, you oh! you, do you think you're on Bill Cosby's yeah. podcast? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because I've had a drink and I'm still up. So now I'm uh, fine. I don't like this. Club. That's a show to go on if you're sleep deprived, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, uh, how was your how was your Christmas, New Year's, and all? Ah, uh, very good. Time? Yeah. Mate, that flew in. Very that good game. In. The fucking the the cr- you can't get tickets. Crowd yeah. love it. Like I, uh, yeah, I, I got drunk on Christmas Eve, ruined Christmas. Ah, oh, no, ruined Christmas Day for my family. Very, Did you? Yeah, it was very good. What, what What do you mean? What did you do? I um, you ran for your family because you were like hungover and shit? Just hungover. And my sister's such a girl and she's really into Christmas. Like really into oh, Christmas. Oh man, I'd have kicked your fucking tune because I love it. Like, yeah, I think that's weird. So it's too <laughs> annoying. See if you're still like, we need open presents and you're not seven. Get out of my face. Do you well, know I'm going to have to get out of your face. <laughs> you're going to have to get out of mine or else yeah. it's going to be a fucking war. No oh, worries, mate. mate. I was shite. Oh. Yes. I, do you know what? A keeper's fucking shit. He didn't even save that second one. It just hit him. Do you want to see the first one too? It was a pass. I know. I fucking <laughs> know it was. He didn't even save that. It, it, just, it, 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 was a, it was attempting to be a goal of the Jewish faith. Do you know what I mean? That's what that was trying to be. An Orthodox goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That we, was a Yiddish goal. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> that, that goal had a bar mitzvah coming up and everything, so it did. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! So what the fuck are we on about there? Oh, wow, you wrecked, you wrecked Christmas because yeah. you're a fucking wee Grinch. So fucking. I went out and I was like, "Joe, I'll go out at four, so I'll get pi- I'll get a pint, right? And I'll be home by eight, and I'll, you know I won't get too bad." Twelve o'clock comes around oh, and my family are all ringing mate. me like, "Where are you? You'd say you'd watch Christmas movies, and I'm hitting them with it. I'm twenty five. Grow the fuck up." Oh, you're a wee dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I no, I don't like this. I don't like to think this about you. I don't like Christmas. Why? Um, it's just Please not Please don't my... have a real reason that's going to make me... Oh, it's a very sad me. reason, but I'll just hit you with, you know, I just hate... I went for it. <laughs> yes. Oh. Thank fuck. Because I was about to eat this microphone. Oh, my oh. God. Why, why are the goal kicks so fucking shit on I know, it's really bad on mine, too. Um, yeah, I do have a genuine reason for not liking Christmas, but I'll just hit you with, you know, I just don't like it. It annoys well, me. Fair enough. Everyone's too happy. I'm like... Oh, see, you know what annoys me? People are like... Oh, you can't be sad on Christmas. Oh, like, you definitely can't. Some like, fucker may have just lost his house. Like, leave yeah, him alone. Yeah. Oh, you you know what I mean? Your, he, wi- your wife left you, but here's, he, a, here's a packet of Jacob Cracker selections. Oh, well, here. So well, everything's fine. Fuck off. those are the crackers off. you're bringing in the house over Christmas, <laughs> you're going to have a shit time. Do you know what I mean? I got these wee special ones out of McCartney's and more. You think yeah. they were sponsoring us? Uh, <laughs> uh, 
these wee special ones, mate, they're made with olive oil. Oh, mummy, they were wee dirts. They're all gone, like. Lovely. Yeah, they went well with, like, the cheeses and shit that we got. That's good shit. Uh, on oh. New Year's, I went to someone's house and they had a selection of Raffaellos. Of what? Is oh, that a, those wee... White like, chocolate white, for our like, rushes, oh, essentially. Oh, they're filth. Delicious. Do you know what's amazing? The white, the the white chocolate for a Rocher bar that is doing the rounds. Right I now. was not aware. They're, they have a for a Rocher bar that's out at the minute. Right, what the that's fuck? I, like, I I don't know what I'm trying to do here. If you want to cross it, you should change the you should change the camera, which is. It's not. I did it once. It's not let me do it again. Oh, so. Right. Great free kick. <laughs> yeah, I told you I didn't know this dude. That's one of those set pieces that just confuses everyone. Oh, oh he's, he's off. gone. He's he must off. be gone. He is Ref. Off. Is he getting warned? He might be getting warned. He's got oh, warned. He's got away with it. Ref. Get the fucking. Oh, can I do subs? Oh, I go for get it. the subs on. He's coming off. He can't. He won't get away with that again. Ah, ref's a wee dick. I didn't know I had Fabregas. I missed that. Oh, I didn't know Kimbappe was sitting waiting for me. Fabre, he's What's coming off. What's his PS81? I can't believe I've been sitting playing this game of Ramos. I can't believe that I can't didn't get sent off for. He's, he is. That's, I think that's the first save bomb I've dropped on this episode, but it's warranted. He's, I'm trying to minimize that, you know. Yeah. Uh, you're, think, you're selling out, Bartlett. You know, I think, uh, no, it's my ma watches these, mate. And Lucky like, you. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck yourself. My ma would watch it, do you know what I mean? Watch Dead No. <laughs> That is <laughs> some dark banter. Like. <laughs> Go on. Well done, Marquinhos. That's not, you sounded like you were standing on the side of a pitch in Tully Cornet saying that to somebody <laughs> who gets called Marquinhos because he has curly hair. Uh, he's called Marquinhos because he's not pasty white. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> never, like, see, because I went there at grammar school, right? Because I come from, you know, we, we scummy players, but I went there at grammar school and I was tortured for it. It was class. What grammar but, did you go to? Uh, Wellington College, Belfast. Right, right. Not as posh as it sounded. Penalty? No. Nope. Uh, it's not a penalty if you found me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fucking bogging. I need to boot this. Well, because I, all my mates were like, you know, a lot of them were posher than I would have been growing up. And I took my mate this first ever football match. It was a Glens match. And uh, what someone could be got... posher? Yeah. Yeah. Someone got fouled. And he, all, it was all quiet, all glam men shout the usual abuse, and then he just went, Simbin, ref! Simbin! Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. Mate, the entire stadium in unison was like, what the fuck was that? Simbin. Simbin, ref! Oh, he was so, like, he wasn't just, you know, he was proper fucking into it. Go on, you wee dick. Chip him. He's chipped you! It's all oh, right! Get! Yes! Yes! Oh, I love it. Mate, that, that goes into me like mana. Oh, I love it. I w- the fuck is ma- That's the know. most anime reference you've ever I don't, Mate, I don't know. I was fucking unreal. Did you see us? Look, oh, do you want a wee pasty or a battered sausage? Right, or so half he, an onion he, ring he, to go with this chip? Look at it. He's oh, my God. Two one up in the 82nd minute. And he's acting like he's just is won the treble. Is it in the 82nd? Yeah. Well, I'm doing better than I thought. And then. you're acting like you're in the fo- you've won the treble then? No, I'm... I'm <laughs> I don't like to be. I don't like to go behind when I feel like I've been playing the better ball. Ugh. And so when I get it back, I lose my mind over it. I'm yeah. sorry. I, I'm not even sorry because I would definitely do the exact same thing again. Oh my god, do it. Win this game. Yeah, oh, you are bastard. fucked. You are bastard. fucked. Oh, I love it. Who even is that? What hero of the monarch? Oh, let me boot this in again. Bastard. Oh, bitch. wouldn't let me. Bloody bastard. Who scored that? He looks like he works on home bargains. <laughs> um, that was a good call. Oh my god. That was a very good call. Your keeper fucked Kim Pembe as well. Where did you see he that? He did. He did. Golovin. Golovan. Golovin. Golovin. That's Golovin. his name. Golovin. That's what he does on a Friday. Um, oh, mate. What is it like, though, to be the best team in the game and get rid by Monaco? I don't know because I'm not Chelsea, so. <laughs> I think he's the best. Everybody they're one. Of, they're not my play style. Like they are a good Chelsea, team. Do I'm not a skill based player. Mm-hmm. I like a. I like an African heavy team. You know, very strong. <laughs> there is no nicer way to put that in the game. There. Oh, what a <laughs> shot! 
This is these, these that last... is a Heston Blumenthal oh. triple cooked chip. Did you see it? These last ten minutes have went to shit. But I, I like my play. I like Lukaku. I'm great with in this, mm. and a lot of people don't like playing as him. Yeah. But I like I play a physical game, so. <laughs> I don't know what's funnier, that amazing chip, am I Heston joke, or yeah. African heavy team? <laughs> I'd be fucked come mid genre. African heavy team sounds like the first porn that you're going to direct. Yeah, you know? I'd, I'd be fucked when the Cup of Nations start, do you know what I mean? Like, I'd have no one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, it's annoying me, I held on very well. I've held, That doesn't reflect. 4-1. That reflects, doesn't reflect it, the game for me. It reflects my... Superior. And what goes on in your fucking mind, maybe? Look at, but no, like, but look at this. Look at this savior keeper, mate. Yeah. I mean, that's flying in the top corner. Look at this. Fucking out of nowhere. I don't even. He didn't even make his hand. He, He's the force. <laughs> he, 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 Professor X and that's yeah. for me either. And then, and, then, and then you get this. This was great. This was, this was great. You weren't even watching that run. Oh, I. I was the keeper, wasn't? We pube and that's that was unbelievable. A, I'm upset that it went, you deserved to win it. I didn't deserve to go down by three. Mate, Do you know what this I mean? is what I, I'm ruthless. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Before we before we go again, yeah, it's time for the biscuit world cup. Are you ready? Okay. What are the rules? We eat biscuits and talk about them. That's the rules. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it's not that complex. <laughs> we're mate, we're going big hitters here. because in the first week, right, I decided what we do: Garibaldi's and gold bars, right? And I thought like Gary, Gary Bond, he sounds like a dude who does your windows. Makes, makes me feel like you haven't watched that first episode. Anyway, the oh. like Garibaldi is like, it's like a wee go-ahead type thing with like kerns in it, like raisins in it. That's horrendous. It was shite. Yeah. Um, named after an Italian politician. And uh, <laughs> genuinely. And um, <laughs> I've decided to go big hitter. So last episode, we went for hobnobs versus digestive. So, so far, di- uh, what do you call it? The gold bars and um, the hobnobs have gone through the next round today. Gold bars are fantastic. This is the battle of what I would consider the school break biscuit. Kit Kats v Rockies. Rockies. Now, the back of that Kit Kat packet concerns me. The like, back of it? What it's asking you. Are you... This is quite rude for a biscuit package. It says, are you a <laughs> slurper? I mean, might as well say on the Rockies, do you swallow meat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> do you like cum? Uh, <laughs> sorry, Mum. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Bartlett. I made him say it. <laughs> so, have you a break. You don't have to answer. Do you know what? Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Do you know what? I know? That's what it always used to say. You know, have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Yeah. And now it says on it, hashtag my break. Don't know like that. You know what I love about all biscuit and chocolate ads, particularly in the mid 2000s, they every single ad was women talking about how bad they're being having chocolate. Yeah. They, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Oh. As they have four. And now it's just like obese men yeah. going, the real average, ever like eat sixes? Yeah. The real advert should be me at six in the morning with now, an empty multi pack beside me crying. I would argue, and maybe this is a sign of the times and or the obesity epidemic. I would argue that that is a Kit Kat, as opposed to that, which is half a Kit Kat, mm-hmm. right? I, <coughs> you know me, William. I only take four fingers at a time. I'm sorry again, Mrs. Barton. <laughs> that was all me, though. Yeah. I'm gonna give you those. You can decide. Do you want half? We'll, we'll do a half each. Well, the, I don't mind. I don't mind. Does anybody else want a Kit Kat? Just want one. I had to go in the bags two weeks ago. I had a multi bag of crisps in the car on the way home. Was this? Uh, what Chris was it? I bought them I'm for the, the way I bought them from. for the week and ate them on the way home from the shop. <laughs> <laughs> know, Literally, there were in my defence there were wee bags of hula hoops. Do you know what are? You, they are addictive. Do you know what's fucking? Do you know what's really hard? To there was loads of traffic, so it was just. Do you know what's like, really hard to not eat all off a big bag of them fucking jalapeno <laughs> ones? Them ones that Shane got you. They're oh, filthy. They're sir, filthy. They're powerful. Made the rocky. Let's see what it says on these. <laughs> fuel for big adventures or <laughs> calories for sitting on your hole we're Whatever. going uh, we're going up Everest has everyone got their pack of Rockies I'm off these things never take this because that's why they're thin and I don't it, it annoys me yeah uh, join me lads join me I mean I wouldn't but I'm on the show I'd be rude if I didn't I know yeah so the idea obviously is 
one at one at a time. Gold bars are what, fucking gold unreal. bars are unreal. Would you have got these for school? I would have had these on me. Not like a packet of them, just one a day. My mom would have bought them, my dad would have got stoned and ate them. Jesus, that's uh, But we did have them. I never got to them before he did, but we did have them. This is um I feel like we've entered like a rehab edition of uh you know, a therapy edition of No Blasters. No, bla- not, no Blasters, because it reminds me of being blasted. This is Slumdog you know. Millionaire, but with biscuits. <laughs> Slumdog Every- Millionaire shortbread. <laughs> right, let's do Every a, biscuit let's, reminds me of a traumatic story. Let's do it. Let's do a Rocky, right? Yeah. As I recall, these are amazing. Are they made by... Fo- mate, foxes do different chocolate. I don't know what it is. Mm, is there good. or some shit in there? Are we sniffing them like it's a fucking... I did sniff it and it made my... I saw you do yeah. that. You have to huff it like it's a fucking fine wine. There's like a wine tasting. Is there a bucket mm. to spit this in? I'll say this. After a chew it all. Yeah. The only thing I appreciate is I feel like Rocky hasn't... Decline. Tried, tried to like fuck us by getting smaller. Yeah, it's the same size as I remember, Rocky. I just had an image of you sitting in a biscuit aisle with packets of biscuits going, "They're fucking us." <laughs> 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 They're finally like, complaining. Look at the back, where's the proper Kit Kats? I was gonna buy orange clubs last night. Oh, uh, and they were shite looking. They're t- they're that size now. Clubs are the most overrated biscuits. It used to say club on it. Mm-hmm. Nah, no, clue. I think we've just got rid of the, the B. <laughs> That ball didn't even touch that cunt's hand, right? So, you won four one. Let it go. Uh, mm. <laughs> I mean, there's a there's a there's a version of these I like better. Like they're a nice biscuit. Is it the caramel? It's one? the caramel one. I do enjoy because you can get too gooey with your caramel. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I know what you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean, you can have the kind of caramel <laughs> that makes you dribble like myself. Yeah. But that may do it. Like it's hardened caramel. It's I done mean, time in the way east out of end. 10. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a seven. That's exactly. I was thinking six or seven. Mm. I'll say seven. Right. Just not to be a contrarian. The humble Kit Kat. Mm. Two crispy wafer fingers covered with milk chocolate. Sixty-six percent. So this so Kit Kat it. is for some reason offering me theirs. Here, right? there's a shit on the back of too. Yeah, that's what I'm. Re- Go what do you think? I'm schizophrenic and the Kit Kat's talking to me? I, I, I'm honest. <laughs> this Kit Kat's telling me to kill. Kill? <laughs> it's telling me to kill John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. So what's it saying? Would you rather sing every time you speak or dance every time you walk? Say it again. Would I rather? Would you rather sing every time you speak? Dance every time you walk? I would sing every time I speak. I do Singing? that anyway. I know I do that anyway. I mean, that's what just I me and you dance talking. every time I walk? Yeah. Uh, I'm the worst dancer in the fucking world. Jigglypuff, that's not what anyone wants. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm a terrible dancer. Like I'm. Do you know what I think it is? I I believe that I'm terrible at dancing because when I was in my learning to dance years, I was often playing the music. Fucking what are you learning to dance? You know when you're like 17 or 18, you're going out like, and that's and true. then like up yeah. to maybe being 22, 23. Yeah. You're you're like you're learning how to throw shapes like yeah. I was always playing so like I know I'm a terrible dancer because I've been in nightclubs and I've been like talking to girls and then you get them on the dance floor and then they see you dance and walk away that's mm. how you know do you know the only the only move that I believe I can do is that, you know that one like when you bounce I can do that yeah I can't even do that uh, would see you... I dance like a slutty girl that's why like I'll throw the hips back and all <laughs> if Rihanna's on I'm on that do- I'm on that fucking dance floor who, who are your who are your Tell me who are your guilty like rare pop pleasures from like the last 10 years because I've got Rihanna I I actually quite like years and years we already know that yeah um, their version people, of It's a Sin made me like them people were slobbering about them doing that live I was disgusted at the comments I read about, about them doing the live New Year's concert yeah a lot of really rare shit was said. I don't um, see see the amount I of really people like who like can't just take a gay dude in the TV. People were literally yeah, saying right. shit though, like going like he's shit live and he's a shit singer. I'm going, this guy's a fucking warlord of a singer. Do you know the type of person saying that? The kind of cunt that's sitting alone at New Year's Eve, typing on Twitter. Or else, yeah, or else people who are like 
you know, trying to recover from somebody in their family wrecking Christmas Day by being drunk. But, yeah. um, you know, um, also, uh, oh, sorry. Also, um, Ariana Grande, have you heard that last album? They're yeah. all banger. Filth. Uh, uh, I liked her. Uh, she came like out of that Manchester bombing and was like, love Cox. She, it's she been did. the weirdest it has, it has been a transition. Like, that's a terrible thing to say, but it's what's happened. She came out before. It was like, Cancel. one last time. Next album's just like, can you stay up all night? Or she fuck me till the daylight. Yeah. You're like, I saw you on the Disney channel. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, I... There, oh, hold on. What's there, going on there? There's a lyric in that song that turns me. Is it, you know I keep it healthy? You uh, know, you know I, I keep I've it been squeaky. Healthy. Uh, like, right. I'm like, so what? You're going to do a wee fucking uh. sprout flavoured? <laughs> that's it, that's that, yeah. Ma Bartlett is not allowed to watch episode three. Yeah. It's over. It's over. She will not be allowed. I will block her. Uh, You're not watching. All, she right, all she's right. telling you there is she's got a big protein hole on her. <laughs> <laughs> that's all she's telling you. That, that should be the name of her <laughs> next album. Ariana Grande, Protein Hole. Unbelievable. Um, and, and then, yeah, that the next line, she goes, I've been drinking coffee, yeah. I've been eating healthy. And then she goes, you know I keep it squeaky. Yeah. And then it reminds me of this other <laughs> filthy song from ages ago where some uh, female rapper sings about, like, uh, mucking herself out with baby wipes, like. And I'm just like, this is fucking disgusting. Who's that? I don't know that one. I think it's called, I know it's called uh, Cupcake. I don't know that. It's by Sweetie. I think it's something like that. She has names like that. And it's, or it's like Cupcake. I know the song. I can't even do the opening lyrics of the yeah. song because it's filthy. I was in the car with my like, sister like, and my like, granny. Like, and then it goes from And my, my sister put on Up by uh, Meg the Stallion. No. Right? And my nanny was like, this is a great song. Oh. And the song is literally like, twerk on his dick, move on his face, put these titties all in your place. Yeah. And I'm like, Sheila, stop. See those, those songs, mate? You know, you know what WAP used to stand for? Women against pornography, and that stands for fucking wet ass pussy. It's you, you stand know, like, for wild old Protestant. <laughs> <laughs> a wild old Protestant here, so it's alright because my sister puts that on. And I'm like, fine, fox getting cued. I don't even know what you just said. Um, Eminem, fox, it gets cued. Right. Oh, fox. I know yeah, you know sorry, that. I do know that. When you said it so quick, I was like, what? <laughs> fox getting cued. I was like, is that some? Is that a new guy that I don't know? But yeah. um. Would you rather have a hamster-sized dog or a dog-sized hamster? A hamster-sized dog would be class. Yeah. The character of a dog that you can hold in your hand. That's like, what do we call them? Yeah. There's like wee, do wee toys that are like that. Wee, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something, yeah, or? I know what you mean. Yips. I don't know. Yeah, wee yips. Yeah, I know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm fucking... That just, sounds like a derogatory maybe term I'm just for the Jewish. i products here. Like, we yeah. don't even know. I'm just making this up. Right, let's kick out this shit. <laughs> I got me some yips. <laughs> How do you like your yips? <laughs> I just take mine regular, I guess. Is it? <laughs> okay, is the kind of guy would have a wee tiny dog? <laughs> this is this here be Buster. <laughs> it was Buster. my pappy's dog. Pappy. I hate this hashtag. I hate this. I hate that it's on the picky as well. Yeah, this is pure melted. And how do I? you do a Kit Kat? Do you break it or do you... Do you just go straight in? I'm people think this is controversial, but fuck it. <laughs> Williams dying. I took the whole bar in one go, but didn't That's what she said. Didn't trip. Here, shout out to me. Um You well, watching that Ariana Grande? I would love it if Ariana Grande was watching this. Here fuck so would I. Imagine how funny it would be. Oh, she came out of that fucking bomb and we're craving for a cock. <laughs> no, she could be on that sofa and I'd say it. I'd be like, why? She did. She did, to be fair. She did. What was the other one? She had one that was... She had another one that was filled? 35. 34. 35. Yeah, that is the one oh, we were it? singing. Yeah. Sorry. Um. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Loads of them are about riding all night. My ex sang that to me in a bar once. It was really weird. What, thank you, next? Yeah. Was it around the time of the break? Oh, was it ages after we broke up? All right, okay. We, we hadn't spoken there, sorry. She sang that to me. I was like, this is uncomfortable. I don't like this. Talk about it on the podcast. I mean, do spark, more therapy spark with the, me. Spark the bitch out. It's fine. Yeah. That's what you have to do these days. 
Um, you Listen, ready for you the... want a conversation with me? You're going to get some dark shit. No, I'm are a you, dark man. Are you ready for the, the second match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we take a brief, brief, and I do mean brief, look at some settings here and see what's going on. Cause... Are we doing the same teams? Did we pick a winner? Uh, I won. Oh, the biscuits. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Sorry. Well, Four one down, but I'll William wins. You, I enjoyed that Kit Kat so much, I forgot it was part of a competition. <laughs> yeah, the, the Kit Kat wins. So that. Kit Kat has to go Kit through. Kat's a 9 out of 10 for me. I'm, I'm going to say 9 out of 10, and I'm also going to throw this out there. I like it. I don't like the hashtag, but I do like it. It gives you these yeah. wee yeah. conundra. conundra? Yeah. It gives you something to think about. Is that right? My Latin. Like, it's not what it should be. Anyway. We shouldn't um, be speaking it at all. You're so <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're, you're, Kat, Latin, you're Latin shocking. Cat cats go through for sure. Do you yeah. ever do languages at school? Do we play with the same teams? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, languages at school. I was so shit at languages. They invented a new subject for people like myself. It was called key skills to make us more employable. Oh god, I remember people doing those things. Yeah, literally, my GCSE paper had like one of those spot the dangers in this room and there was like a baby in the bath with a toaster yeah and I saw nothing wrong with the photo <laughs> you're a fucking <laughs> I saw what was wrong by the way so if you turn turn on your controller oh see when Shane's not here to keep me in line I'm, I'm a dark wee man I'm a dark a dark wee man sounds dark like dark wee man a dark wee sounds dick. like what you would, I was gonna say that's what you would call your wee dick you know your yeah, dark, I, your dark, your I, I do have man. like a really darkly covered penis it's like different shade than the rest of my body. It's like I've put you it. Know that you're outside the house. Like, do you, do you that's what I talk to my granny about all the time. No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like I've pressed it under a George Foreman. I don't know, mate. If we're, uh, if we're you, going into fifty did shades I change, of Walter, like, did I change my settings there? No, but it was. I know what was wrong. The the pass setting had been changed. The manual. Right. That's why all the passes were fucking rare. Um. So anyway, uh, like if you go to pass it, like with your goalie now, it should be normal. Anyway, uh, did I already say to you, didn't I, like about shows and all? How, what did you, um, have you anything, when's your Ulster Hall? <laughs> Are you all right, man? <laughs> no, no. I'm, I have, I'm stroking out because <laughs> I'm playing with a, a lesser side here. Um, uh, Ulster Hall, Ulster yeah. Hall? 15th of October, it is me, Mark McCarney. Robbie McShane, Jordan Robinson, and the one and only James McKegney. Is Robbie fucking moving? Robbie's fucking, yeah. Yeah, he's going to Glasgow. For what? Um, I think For he, the crack lick, or like, uh, is he going for... No! Oh, right. I found him. Off. He's, off. He's, he is. He's doing off. it. He's doing it. Get off my pitch. Oh, Get out me, pub! Oh, he's done it to me. You Sadibi. bastard. Oh, this is bogging. This is going to be stink, this whole game now. Yeah. I'll pause this after your penalty to change my, my... You should take the aimer off or else I'm just going to save that. I'm just going to save this then. All right. See if this still goes in, I'm going to be fucking sick. Oh, you wee dick. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't <laughs> Why time... did you not take the aimer off? Because I was deliberate. I didn't time that right. When I normally do that, it changes at the last minute so the person's made their decision. Oh, my God. It's, it's a hard wee trick and I didn't do it right, but when it goes right, it's very funny. It, I... I don't know what you were doing there. That's so. Like the yeah. Kind of yeah. Jorginho. So you literally he change. Came, he came fucking. I'm leaving him on because he's a 79. He came fucking third in the Ballon d'Or. Jorginho. Behind Good. Messi and. Levin. Levin. Golski. I. How did fucking Lewandowski not win that? Um, With the fucking year he's had. What what sort of year did Messi have? What because he did they win the Copa America? They won the Copa America, yeah. So fuck. Oh, yes, yes. Are you feeling the sweat in this game, Mister? I've had my biscuits. I'm feeling the fucking sweat I'm in this one because I well, like always, uh, big sugar intake makes me feel sluggish. <laughs> but, um, uh, I was actually. How do I try to foul you and go down? That's really weird. That's what happens, mate. Because I openly, wanna, like, yeah, I was trying to find you there. They all want to go down on me. So the, um, what, what's the crack with, uh, Robbie? Gig, then? Um, yeah, so it's going to be five of us on the Ulster Hall, all doing 20 minutes each. That's a good time, like. Yeah. 
Uh, it's sort of so when you did the squad, like yeah. with the Ulster Hall, many many <clears throat> moons ago. Yeah, fucking 2016. Fuck off! Is that how long ago that yep. was? Isn't that mad? That's crazy. Yeah, fuck I remember me. being at that and being like, "Fuck, I would love to do that." You were just getting your eleven plus results or something. The next yeah. Day, were you? What was I? I was about a year and a half, two years in the stand up at that point. Yeah, yeah. No, I was about first a, year, about a year uni. And a half, yeah. I was first year uni. When you yeah. were in that gig. How long? How long had you been doing stand up when we met at Lavery's that time? About three, three to four months. Who's down? If this is Mbappe, is that Mbappe? See if it's Mbappe. I'm swinging for it, him. Like it looks sure. like Mbappe. You racist fucker. I hope he dies on the pitch. Ah, oh, it's um, Verratti. Oh, fuck. Do you pull an Ericsson? All right, that's a bit fucking sick, Karen, just because you don't like him. Oh, mate. <laughs> Look how white Julian Draxler is, by the way. Well, a guy called Draxler, a bit white? No, no, no way. Like, he's lit- he, literally <laughs> looks, he literally looks like paper. He's the embodiment of the fucking Aryan race. The of right. course he's white. Yeah, he loves it. He lo- loves a bit of the Aryan race. Uncle. A wee bit of the fucking rake. He loves that. Fucking loves a wee bit of Lebensraum. Unbelievable. <laughs> you, you don't really get an awful lot of Levens around Panther, to be fair. Yeah. But, like, I don't think I've ever done any, but yeah. it's cute. I have. So, World War II is my like, one area I'm really comfortable in, historically. Is so, it? Yeah. yeah, I love World War II. I love World War II. It's is it your, fascinating. Is it your favourite death of millions, is it? Or? Yeah. Get there. Oh, it was a chance. I was a chance if he'd won that header. I mean, it goes World War Two, Korean War. And then just Pompeii. Those are my favourite deaths Fuck. of millions. It goes World War Two, then five years later, then you know, nineteen hundred years back. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> I have never made that noise before. Yeah. Um see I uh I'm actually doing stuff about Pompeii at the minute. What material or <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm doing it, it. It'll be part of this PhD I'm doing is how uh, my yeah, doctorates I'm, you fucking need two. <laughs> I definitely, I, I want I want it to be so that I can do doctor doctor jokes. Um, <laughs> and then when people say, "Is there a doctor in the crowd?" I can go, "Well, actually, <laughs> yes, there is, but I cannot help you." Um, so. I remember that that clip you of you and Shane's podcast when he you talked That's about. True. I know, I know, but you're like, sir, doctor, here. Do you know the newsletter was found out in seventeen seventy seven? I love that. Do you know what's so annoying about me? I I needed to to say what year it was actually found in there, but I oh stopped, yeah, I stopped myself. Um, so uh, yeah, like I didn't care. But no, like, no, I know. That's, it's, it's not, that's the kind no, of thing you'll correct me on, and no, I'll be no, like, I don't give a shit. It's, no, it, it w- I wouldn't even be correcting you on it for you. That's, <laughs> that's the saddest part. I'll be doing it for the memories of the people who have lived and died under its under, for the newsletter under the business. What a shit thing to die for, mate. In some ways, yes, but in other ways, a great thing in the sense that it's the longest running for English the newsletter, language, longest running English language newspaper in the world. Do you know how boring that is? I didn't even get all the way through what you were telling me. That's how fucking boring that is. I seriously hope I score as a result. Get there! Oh, you get there! <laughs> oh, these fucking French footballers. It was a fucking frog lying on its own slime. You'd get there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, throw garlic on it. Oh, all right. No. No! No! What camera am I looking shit. at? shit. No, I was shite. I thought we injured him. Oh, and then it was Bradley. I was definitely him man on the fucking ground. It's not you fucking racist. Bradley's not even black. How am I being racist? Because <laughs> didn't it was just a slightly you thought tanned. Thought was as well. <laughs> yeah, but I am racist. You're a wee dick. <laughs> you are a wee dick. This, rem- this is reminding me of when you tried to fucking cheat and thought nobody noticed. What do you oh. mean when I thought nobody noticed? I looked at Michael. Up your oh, hole, bastard. Up, do you know what that's called? Karma. Oh, who scored? When you said I thought nobody noticed, I looked at Michael, winked, and then said, Viva La Raza. Pick that ball up, you wee dick. (laughs) And did the wee Eddie Guerrero dance? Who was that? Was that Ben Yetter? Oh, I love him. (laughs) His card and Ultimate Team's fucking cracked. It's insanely good. Is it? Mate, he's a fucking warlord. I I, I think it's a good thing you don't play Ultimate Team. It probably, mate, I'm all right. You lose your mind. I'm already near having a fucking stroke just playing against <laughs> you and Dave. Um, 
So, what was I going to say? Didn't you uh, get some questions for us, didn't you? I did. I did. I mean, this will definitely go to the third game because I'm winning this one. But we we'll still play the third game anyway, just for pride. Oh, no worries, no worries. Just so I can have a chance of beating you in three. Jesus fucking Christ. Loads. What's the best one? Um... Someone said, when will he start his own podcast? That's what we're on right now. Oh, you mama. fucking idiot. When will Karen start his own podcast? Yeah. When are you, start, are you starting one? When you give me all of your money. Anyway, sorry. This is this is funny. Robert Smith, who's more likely to be able to do a handstand? Who's... Between me and you. That's very funny, because I, I couldn't give There's you There's only one way to find out. <laughs> um, Alright, okay, sorry. Um... What's the question again? Um, who's more likely to be able to do a handstand between me and you? It's got to be you. No. It has got to be you? Uh, my arm, because I get up there, my arms will just fucking break. Hey, something i got to tell you about myself here, Kieran. <laughs> Think I'm going into the Pep's office being like, here, watch this, lads. I don't doubt that. I, <laughs> I, I don't think that is. Walking on my hands. I don't know much about the Tories, but I don't hurt. think they would appreciate that. Like, no, no, no. Um, the fact that I'm still breathing, yeah. I don't think they appreciate it. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't. You made it past birth. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, they should. <laughs> I'm the reason to stop funding hospitals constantly. Aren't you one of the river children? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. How did you escape the pile? <laughs> <laughs> what else have we? Um, so you th- sorry, so you think I'd be more likely? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I really do. We're both clearly very fearful of a handstand because we both think the other person will be better at it. I'll just fucking spike pile driver myself if I do a handstand. So I'm walking about here like fucking stone cold. Are you doing a meet and greet after your shows at Limelight? A meet? And just, are you, well, you just Does that mean they bring me meat? <laughs> and I greet it? Yeah. With f- suspicion? You get the meet and go. A meet and greet? What's that? It's when you say hello to people and get photos and shit. Well, you'd be chilling about after Limelight to say hello to people. Yeah. Maybe. I, I will be. Fuck him. William will be there. I'll be there. William will be there. Um, I might do that eye if people are wanting to. It's it's good. It's the done thing, isn't it's it? It's the done. It's not always done, but it's a good thing to do, I think. Okay. Personally, I would. Can do. you charge them more for meeting and greet? All right, Connor Burns. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? It's, a it, mad guy? Yeah, it's that mad guy, right. yeah. But he charges people 20 quid a photo. He's no dickhead, like. 20 pound for a photo? Comes home from that south with like fucking 200 pound in his pocket, like. Swear to God, <laughs> swear to fucking God, because it's it's worth it. All right. Um, probably been asked before, but are, is him and Mickey Bartlett related? Aye. No one's ever asked that. No. Um. Your disdain for the general public really shines through in questions. I, I don't have no no. <laughs> don't. I don't. I'm still thinking about how I'm gonna win this match. No, I think um. Yeah, we're we're my my dad's cousin is Mickey's dad. Right. So, so your we dad's are we cousins. are I believe we are second cousins. Yeah. Had yeah. you ever met before down comedy? Hmm? Had you ever met before down comedy? No. Uh my uncle Tom uh said to me one time <laughs> You have an uncle Tom? Uh is he black? <laughs> no, who's being racist? No, no that was the term? No, no, I know it's a term. Yeah. He doesn't have a. He doesn't. He also doesn't live in a cabin. In like they were you know, normally in the house. But sla- slave, <laughs> Uncle Tom's cabin. That's the name of the book. What book? You, fuck up! How do you know? You know what Uncle Tom means, but you don't know where it comes from. It comes from Uncle Tom's cabin, the book by Harriet Beecher Stowe. They said it, mate. Mine. That's how I know what it is. <laughs> oh, I hate! The, I hate your generation. <laughs> You're able to go, oh, he's just such an Uncle Tom, and you know what it means? My boy Future is an Uncle Tom. Oh, I my God. I do live God. in a trailer with my mom. Uncle Tom's Cabin. It's a book. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it, it's a book, and and the reason why Crawling people, people use... Crawling in your skin. <laughs> the reason why people use it as a term is because the character of Uncle Tom yeah. is uh, like a... You know, white friendly black character, yeah, who like helps uh, helps people, right, right. Hence, I thought they were like Samuel L. Jackson. Hence, and he Django. calls your man, what's his name, Mackay Pfeiffer or whatever. He calls uh, him Future. His name's Future. I uh, in in that in that yeah. thing. Yeah, he calls him like a an Uncle Tom. But um, in uh, 
what the fuck? Yeah, my Uncle Tom <laughs> said to me that Mickey, he goes, your cousin Mickey's doing comedy now. And I was like, who fucks my cousin Mickey? I've never heard of him. And then I like the second gig I ever did. Uh, it was in the pavilion and I went to it the week before I was on to see what it was like. And Mickey was on and I went over to him and was like, here, we're cousins. It was like basically going over to somebody and going here, I'm, you're my dad, like, you know what I mean? Aye. Uh, and yeah, went from there. Who he did definitely, comedy he first? definitely looked at me, Mickey. Yeah. He definitely looked at me as if to say, I'm the comedian in this family and you're shit. And then he seen me and he was like, you're actually, you're fucking decent this. And I was like, I knew, darling. But um, I, m- I remember the, fir- the first time I met you at a gig. In Lavers? You, you were almost incensed. At how young I was. Oh, I was? No, I still am. He, he was actually very angry. I'm, I'm still raging about it. Because <laughs> I'm... Still in school. I know. You were like... You, I was like, I said to you and Aaron McCann, what he's doing tomorrow? I was like, oh, what's the crack? What he's doing tomorrow? And you were like... Aaron was like, oh, I've just got to fucking get up and go to uni or whatever. And I was like, expecting you to say the same thing. And you go, oh, i got to go to school. And I went, ha. And then you were like, no, seriously. I've got fucking, you know, That's English first two or something. I was like, right, brilliant. Po- I've got I've got a triple politics. I was <laughs> like, oh my, god. I was like, oh my god, and um, I uh, yeah, because you were like still in school, and I was like already like ancient, so it's just fucking yeah. I'm still, I'm still angry. Um, <laughs> our Uncle Tom thing has sent me into Australia. I love my ability to wind you up. That's fucking. Do, do you know why it winds you up? Because you know I know better. You should know better. Do you know, d- tell the truth? I've never Don't. heard of the book. I didn't know it originated there. That, that hurts me, like because well, it shouldn't. Because no, but it does because it's it's so, it's so symptomatic. You, you know, know what the term means, but you don't know why, and it just no. I knew what it meant. No, I didn't no. know where it originated. I know what's what I mean. Yeah, but I pretend I don't just because I know it, it winds you up. It's like when I said, didn't Richard Burton direct uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? Because I know, or Nightmare. Or you, see, you said like Nightmare Four Christmas. Oh yeah, yeah, that was funny. I know far. just enough to fuck you off. Yeah, you also know that I fucking hate Tim Burton. So. <laughs> I do too. I walk Hey, out. why not make the same movie for 30 years? Oh, see, that's Legend. Ta- see, Sweeney Todd. Uh, what's the other one? Worst films fucking I've ever seen. Finger Hand Boy. Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands. Finger- or a Finger <laughs> Edward Hand Boy. Finger Hands. <laughs> fin- it's, not, it's, not, it's not as much of a leap from reality. <laughs> oh, damn finger. these fingers. <laughs> I was supposed to cut the bushes with <laughs> That was a fucking rough movie. Like I hate about. Shite, like. Yeah. It's someone's acid trip turned into a movie. Yeah, that's most of his films are. Yeah. Look at Alice in Wonderland was dog shit as well. Aye. I was anyway, pissed. Shall we? Do you yes. want to do one more question? Then we'll get back to the game. Um, Kira wants to say, Kieran, you should bring out your own Irish rebel song. You nailed it with the last one. Okay, sure. I'll just join the IRA as well. Um, <laughs> people always assume that I'm. People assume I think that I'm either like. It's weird. Other other tags think I'm a big raw head. Yeah. And then, uh, or sorry, that's wrong. Other tags think I'm a big prod, and prods think I'm a big raw head. Like Pro- that's, that's what happens in the comments. Weirdly, I think a lot of like diehard prods get annoyed at me because a lot of jokes I do are Our directed birthday. at them. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm from that community. I just think a lot of it's fucking silly. Yeah, like you see, like me and Patty have talked about this before. When you know, I'll you know, I go, I'm, I'm, from, I'm from well, he gets sent off for it, didn't he? <laughs> it's not, it's not like he did it and got away with it, he's off your advantage, and you're still only one each. So, in this game of life, I'm a bit disadvantaged. I'm so on. happy that I saved that penalty, though. Um, we are fucking shy tactic, but um, like, Pat, Patty, like, you know, if you say, like, when I say, Oh, I'm from the west, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not from the heart of the west, like, you know what I mean? I'm from, I'm, I'm from Black Shore, like, it's not, yeah. It's it's it'll be like saying I'm oh, from East Belfast, but you're from like Cyprus or something. Do you know? What yeah, I mean? yeah, like Cyprus Avenue. Ah, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Ah, uh, I kind of get no, away. not actually. Like you know, <laughs> I'm from East Belfast. Well, actually, yeah. I'm from Cyprus. I'm from Cyprus yeah, <laughs> I was really confused. I was kind of agreeing with you, and I was like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" What part of East Belfast? You're from Nicosia. <laughs> 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 I was really confused by what you meant. I was like, the fuck's he talking about? So I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, I know what you mean, man. Fucking Oh, looper. <laughs> mate. That's funny as fuck. Let's do this. Oh. Lose to me. Right. Jesus. Lose to me? Oh, I'm yeah. in the plaque. So, have you watched any good movies recently? What? Um, I watched 
Once Upon a Time in Hollywood again the other night. No, the I should have said that differently. Have you watched any recent movies? <laughs> it's kind of, actually it's great. Yeah, isn't it? Fairly oh, recent. sorry. In fairness, you did say Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I pictured fucking oh, Once, Once Upon, Upon a Time, Time in America. America. Yeah. Oh right. So, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is very good, isn't it? It is. I didn't like it the first time I watched it. Not that I disliked it. I think it's a grower, not a shower. It, it absolutely is. It yeah. absolutely is. Because you go into it expecting the Tarantino thing of like a big twist and stuff, and yeah. that doesn't really come. But it's fucking great. First time I saw it, I hated that Damien Lewis was Steve McQueen and wasn't in it loads. I I was annoyed that he wasn't in it more. I yeah. think he's brilliant. I fucking love. Did you see that long ball? I did. I did. Did you oh, see that tackle? I did. Um, oh, did you no. see his pass in the sweat? <laughs> <laughs> Your keeper. Oh, he's done. Donna He's He's a bastard. Um, so what are you doing? Oh, oh, Savy gives you a free. So, Damien Lewis is amazing. Oh, he's from in Homeland. He's great at everything. He's he is. Amazing. He's great. Never. Homeland. Um, I stopped watching after spoiler guys. They killed him off. I didn't like when they killed him. I definitely thought he was gonna come back. Like, or rather, I didn't think they were actually gonna. Yeah, do it. You were. I'll give them that. It's one of the few times in TV you're like, right, he's definitely not that, and then he does. Do you know what did that? And I don't think I've ever been more happy to see someone die. Uh. 24 again spoiler alert although you're 20 years late 24 season one when uh-huh. uh his wife who's incredibly annoying gets fucking murdered at the end of the first season definitely thought he was gonna save the day y'all and he comes into the room and she's like lying on a chair and she's been fucking shot twice and i was like oh drop movie God. did that great bait and switch um the dark knight yeah, was, when he, yeah, he, he knows he's gonna chase Rachel. Yeah, and he goes there, and then it turns out the Joker's given him the wrong location. Yeah, yeah. I was de- like, oh, it's unreal. You definitely thought she was gonna live as well. Yeah, and then she just fully doesn't deserve though. Um, was that? I always get this. <clears throat> always get this mixed up. Was that? Was that Katie Holmes that died, or was that <sighs> Maggie Gyllenhaal? Oh, it was or, Maggie. Are, are they the yeah. same character though? Yeah. 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 Why did Katie Holmes not just stay in it? Fucking Tom Cruise wouldn't let her out. I don't know. <laughs> oh, go on. Oh, your keeper. Oh, it's fuck bollocks. That's fucking I'm, bollocks. I'm, do you know what? I'm actually glad he saved the first one to give you hope. Mm. And then Ben Yatter snatches it. Oh, that was amazing. Fucking Ben. You're, you're a fucking one-man team right now. Have you any plans to go to any shows next year? Um... What do you mean, go down? Like, like, are you going to see anything oh, in 2022? Yeah. Like, apart from, like, other oh, um, comedians and shit? Go, like. go see Liam Gallagher in Nebworth, supported by Kasabian. Are you? Yeah. When's that? June. You a big fan of his? Oh, huge. Huge really? Oasis fan. Huge Liam Gallagher fan. I I sort of like the Oasis. Like, I like them, you know, uh, when... Uh, like, what's the story and all that stuff? The uh, first three the albums. first few albums. Yeah. And then... Definitely switched off, and oh no, you definitely did. Yes, keeps. Oh, you dick! Yes, keeps, keeps. <laughs> you will save it. No, you eat dick. <laughs> no, <laughs> you eat dick. A keeper. I literally hackled all over myself. A keeper doesn't deserve it. I couldn't get near you. The keeper actually made about fucking four amazing saves for me, and I couldn't help him. And then it does that. <laughs> you eat dick. Oh, me. <laughs> I've covered myself in, um, in Kit Kat hackle. I find Oasis, I, I think they're a band they were cool to shit on. Do you know what I mean? When people. Yeah, yeah, like, do you ever get, like, the kind of cons I used to know we play instruments and being like, oh, it's so simplistic and shite and yeah, all. Yeah, that is true. You know what's good? This Radiohead album where uh, they play the cheese grater. Like, fuck off. I oh, know. Oh, and I like Radiohead. I don't. I do not like them. They're, like, they're one of those, it's like a Stuart Lee thing. I don't mind them, but fans of them make me hate them. Oh, mate. There's so many bands that I like that I could never go to see live yeah. because they're hardcore fans. Sick in my spirit. Like, yeah. see the Mars Volta. Oh my god. I love the Mars Volta. See, uh, and like loads of the metal bands I listen to are like this as well. Yeah. Do you ever go to a metal concert and just get hit in the face by some. I like that big, though. Some, I... No, somebody's big sweaty pit. Chance. You will. What a block. Oh! Did that win? It did. 
it fucking did. I've just put it over my sparkling. Oh. <laughs> I want to see That's this. a wonder save. Look at this. I block and then, oh, I decked you out of oh, the reach chip. I was a good block though. I read what you were doing. Uh, look how cheeky this is in case you slid in. Oh, yeah. over Ollie's. Oh, Donna Ruma. He should have got that. Donna Summer. He hates it. So, Donna Trainer. That's what I'm going to call him from <laughs> now. Um, the subject of a recent... <laughs> recent taboo at the BBC. <laughs> Um, R.I.P. Donna Trainer. <laughs> she's not dead. <laughs> she may as well be. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So, what the fuck were we all about before I did you? You were sucking armpits at a metal concert or something. Happens all the time, mate. You go to a metal gig and you just get somebody fucking smelly. No. No ref. You get somebody's big fucking smelly pasty pit in your face. And in your head. I'm not happy about that, mate. To be honest with you, I don't even think I Doesn't was... Doesn't look like he was just pulled out really slow when he was being born? <laughs> no, I mean, no when they, like, pull pizza, though. Oh, the, he's taking the aimer off. Oh, shit, this is tense. I think you're a wee sneak, though. Oh! He's a wee sneak! Oh, I sensed it. Two penalties saved, like... Two penalties saved, a man down, I'm still winning, and yet you fucking question my ability on this game. Oh, I'd hate to lose now. Um, he's off. He must be off. Oh, oh, he was. He was. Oh, I thought he was on. What is it like though to be getting rid by this team? Like I wouldn't that? call it red. I real. I would call it. You've been lucky a few times. Oh, uh, uh, that's what they used to say about United. Oh, you were lucky for thirteen title wins. Anyway, yeah. so I can't remember what the fuck. Is there paying for it now though? Because these are fucking trunks. <laughs> I hate you now. Oh, we're still a big team. Trunks. Are you, you fuck? You are shite. Oh, mate, you've oh, been done. A, I'll give you that. was a great game. In two. Like, Fantastic. In two. But we'll do a third. I'll anyway. play for pride here. Like So, what were we... What There was some we were legit talking about there. Sucking oh, pits. Yeah, metal gigs. I'm going to see Darren Brown this year. That's a big metal gig. No. Like, <laughs> I, I've finished talking about metal now, William. I'm moving on. If I have to do this every time a brain makes me switch topic, it's going to take ages. Um, he's brilliant, though. I'm looking forward to that. I, I, do you know what I'm actually dying for? Us to get him on here once this podcast is up and running, because I know he's here for like a week. I feel like we'd have him on, you wouldn't even know. Like oh, mate. I, I want to bring him on here and grill him about whether or not he actually does magic. Anyway. We have had this discussion. This I, is don't, the I don't even want to get into it's it It's the again. weirdest belief that he... Ha- you're a very you, intelligent people, man. People say this. People go, oh, like, don't, magic's undermine, real? <laughs> don't undermine your intelligence. I'm like, I'm prepared to be surprised. It's like when surprised. you meet a really smart woman, you talk about her, and she's like, oh, by the way, my horoscope, and you're like, what the fuck? I, I will say, have you ever met anybody that's dropped, like, by the way, I tried my, to say. the crystal skull of my house? I know tells several. Me what they were. I know several. Or do you believe... Do you believe in feathers? Oh, get on my life. I get that all the time. See, when you see a feather, it just means your mummy's watching. Or it I, means a pigeon's been hit by a fucking jet. Do you know what I mean? It's time that we Could did. Could be either. It's time that we did the gift exchange. Oh, right? yes. By the way, I tried to say I'd be there. Uh, they're a great band. Ever seen them? I've never seen them live. Oh, no, I did. I did see the them The Chili Peepers? Once. Yeah. No, I haven't seen them live. Have you not? They're fucking no. Nice. They're one of those you're like, the back catalogue is so I, extensive. I love them, but I had a chance to go see them. I've, I got confused there because I was talking about this recently. I want to go see them when they bring out this new album and they're definitely going to tour it. But I had a chance to go see them when John Frusciante was in the band mm. and I wasn't allowed to go because they were playing in Dublin and my mum wouldn't let me go. Because... Of uh, May levels. She is tuned out way, I know, yeah. way far. I, th- I think when we were talking about Ariana Grande's queef, like it was over. Um, possibly even before that. But the so I wasn't allowed to go then. And then I had a chance to go see them. I think they did Tenants or something. T- they T- did, they did. Uh, that there one in Boucher, I think. And I, I, could, I didn't want to go because it wasn't, I think it wasn't when John Frusciante was in the band. Oh, and I, I wanna, I'm I, no, but I'm a fan of his. I wanna, I wanna great. see them with him because I don't think they're as good with him. They're one of those bands. They will either be amazing or they're just off. Yeah, they're yeah. very hit and miss. Yeah, uh, Kedis can be 
one of the best vocalists you'll ever hear. Yeah, or he can. Or he just can, I could do off better. His tits, yeah. Have you ever read his uh, Scar Tissue book? I need to read it. It's unreal. I, William. Oh my goodness. I've got you now. The thing with the gifts on this show are they cost me less than five pounds. I got this for free from Copeland Distillery when I gigged there, and I said to them, they said, "Do you want a bottle of something?" And I went, "I don't drink." And they said, sure, take it and give it to somebody. And I thought, I'll give it to William, knowing that he's got me something equally special. Go ahead. Yeah. So I got you the fat caramel biscuits, mate, with tonics. Do you know the saddest part about this? This caused more? Well, probably. <laughs> but, but also, the truth of this little exchange is that William didn't bring anything. William wasn't told. And I've had to give William <laughs> these biscuits to give me... And I wanted to see what he go through with. Was not told. And he has. He claims he wasn't told. Was not told. But then also said, if you told me to my face, I don't remember it. I don't remember my address a lot of the time. Who do you believe? <laughs> oh, does that guy with brain damage forget things? I thought you were a fucking doctor. Uh, <laughs> 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 so many levels. <laughs> There's so many levels of that. Remembers that I am a doctor. Definitely knows that I'm not a real one. You know, you eat dick. Enjoy this. Thank you. Pickle that's yourself right, sideways. Thank you. It's um, a perfect shape for that too. Thank you very much. These these are unbelievable, by the way. I actually think in my hands yeah. are a contender for at least the semifinals at World Cup. See this like shape a bottle? It's like in a pirate movie when you're harassing the female Isn't protagonist. It, yeah. like, you, you need, <laughs> it is. You need, you need a pirate on your shoulder and a cutlass. <laughs> a, a sword type that you don't see enough off these days. Yeah. A pirate's cutlass. Shall we do this third game? We'll do it. We'll do it. Oh, man, I'm so happy that I've fucking won this already. I've um, had a lot of fun on this podcast. This, it's been good crack, it's been great. It? This, this third one has... Uh, this game doesn't even matter to me. I'm just like, whatever, let's kick around the back Fuck, four. Fuck, all right. Sorry. <laughs> kick, kick around the back three for 90 here. Um, what was I going to say then? So, um, do we have any other questions? We do, but... They're oh, do you need me? Well, let's... let's I can't uh, rem remember. So one of them was asking me, would I ever fight ha Hasbulla? Jesus. Um, Man, what sort of fans have you got there? Because that's... Uh, I don't think I've ever been asked like, "Would I fight?" You know, individual. I get asked, "Would I fight people?" Revolutionary all groups all the time. It's our fans are like they're very affectionate, but they're also very abusive. <laughs> I I get a lot of the you know, you know, oh mate, you're so funny here, Mickey. What do you say? As fat cunt, he's funny. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you're like, thanks, mate. You've both said something nice to me, and. Made me want to fucking eat a burger. There's all a lot the same time. on our podcast. Um, we'll love party, and they fucking hate. My God, do they fucking hate me? I, I but it's it's always like fucking the cunt who's like sniffing glue on his profile picture. Yeah, they, your they, fans they, were quite aggressive that night in uh, in Port, Port Rush. Rush that's, remember that? Remember that I had to that, stop the show because the guy was trying to fucking sorry, get his hole. Did you just ask me, or do I remember that gig in Port Rush? No, I, I, I was going to say, do you remember? Well, you know, I man, I I don't remember things. That's why I was like. <laughs> Do you remember the guy, I had to stop it because some guy was trying to get his hole? Yeah, I remember. Was I like, get his hole, harass two women. It was it was quite funny in the sense that the entire room had put him up to it, and then he was actually being serious. Yeah. But um, it it was it was such a strange, you said something hilarious about the the venue, because it, it, it had all these rare statues and like big weird plants and all on the stage. When it goes, why is this place like Alex Higgins living room? Because uh, there's just empty fucking <laughs> bottles of whiskey everywhere. That's right. They had all these empty bottles. <laughs> and, like big statues and all. Like just the strangest decor. Also I said, do you know my favorite thing that happened at that gig was? I arrived early and I said, the guy, is there a backstage? And he goes, it's about six feet. And I goes, what? <laughs> and he goes, what do you mean? And I went, is there a backstage, like a wee room? We can go sit in. And he goes, no, nah, just like see behind the stool. Just are using for the podcast. There's about six feet there backstage. And I'm like, are you talking about, like, upstage? As in, like, the back part of the actual stage? And he was like, yeah. And I went, no, I mean, like, a wee hangout room. And he goes, nah. And I went, right, where can I sit then? And he goes, you can go up there. And he pointed up these stairs that looked like it went straight to Bill Cosby's penthouse, right? <laughs> and I goes to him, what's up there? And he goes, nothing. And I went, well, <laughs> yes. I'll just sit here then. So weird. 
That was also the the show I just wrote while Paddy was on stage. I was telling you, I was like, I'm very horny. Just really wrong. He did. He literally turns around. I forgot about that. I managed to black up it on my fucking memory. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't say it in like a head dropping way. I was just letting you no, know he just where. Goes, just letting you know where I was at. He mentally. said something along the lines of, I'm incredibly horny right now. <laughs> I was like, well, fuck. I do. I get, very, I get very horny backstage. I don't know why. The point was, we weren't even backstage. We're sitting Aye. out in the fucking room. Oh. Just something about a crowd gets me going. Oh, Jesus. Right. I'll, I'll do you want to start fouling me in this fucking box? I mean, like, I mean that was a foul. Like, that was 100% a foul. I was a foul. <laughs> uh, I'm glad the ref has decided <laughs> to see sense though and let. What is he, C-Sense? And he just, understands the spirit of the game, this ref. What, you're allowed to cheat? You are a fucking United fan. <laughs> there is, I just hate United. And Liverpool, I think. Fans with a passion. Because I am of the strong belief if they didn't win for as long as they did in the ni- 80s and 90s, they wouldn't have a quarter of the fans that do. Yeah. Who, who do you follow? Um, when I did have a team of support, it was Chelsea. But... <laughs> But I started liking them in 2003 because my dad was a Newcastle supporter and I used to do this thing that annoyed him where I just started supporting whoever they were playing that week. Shalom. I was going to say, mate, that was <laughs> straight out of the synagogue. <laughs> That's Tetris themes, what am I doing? <laughs> so I would support whatever team they were playing and Chelsea beat them that day. And then he, he went nuts at me, and I was like, fuck it, I support Chelsea from now on. And then they got bought out by a Russian billionaire. And was that drug bad? Would that have been around the time that fucking. What's his face? You're talking like our best striker was Good Johnson. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. Chelsea beat Newcastle. Sorry. Yeah. I was thinking, do you remember the time. Was it Papi Cissé scored that absolute whirly against Chelsea? <laughs> oh, Papi Cissé. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. I was a fucking screamer. Oh, yes, yeah, sweet dick. There it is. There it is. No, oh. That's not. I tried to chip out there and he blasted it anyway. We rat. It was too, um, but yeah, I was very fortunate that Chelsea got bought out the next year. It was a very good time for me. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Do you know what I love? The United fans who post like an analysis, fuck, on the state of the club on social media like the day after their loss. There's Mate, no other fans see, that do it. See every every fucking time United are shite now, which is like yeah. I'll be honest with you, I'm Most. this I am this close to just not stopping Karen. Yeah. But definitely like mate, I, I haven't missed a game in fucking ages, right? And say at the minute, I'm very close to just fucking just like doing something during it. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna write something yeah. or like keep working. Because I'm, I'm throwing two hours of my life into this shitter every time I sit down. That's not see, worth it. See, I had our one the other day against... Uh, Wolves? Oh, mate. Fucking was so bad. Their goal was class, though. It was a good Montenegro's. finish. Montenegro's? Yeah. Do you, know what, do you know what annoyed me? Phil Jones. I've been slagging that guy for about 10 years. Uh, definitely hard slagging him, saying he should leave the club for the last four or five years. And... He was he was their best player the other day what's by f- a country mile. What's your feelings on Maguire? Hate him. <laughs> I really, really, really don't like the guy. I was I can't remember what game it was. I was watching. It was one that lost four <clears> one, <throat> and I think he oh, either. Watford. Yes, he contributed to about oh, three of them. Yeah, yeah, no, he does, mate. He gives goals away. No. Yes, get up. Oh, I was very similar. No. Fuck off! Like, where's that? he? Where's this coming from? I love him. Cunt's turned into Magneto with a ball. The I, know, fuck? I, I hated him in the first game, but a 1 4 1. I don't know if you remember that, but. Um, I do. I had a very bad last time. See, so this is my thing. I'll have really bad attention laps and stop paying attention. Yeah. And the game goes to shit. I do. I, it. I get that. Uh, never. And. <laughs> Drama just is like, here, do you want to just punch it into our own ball? Our own net? I thought he did all right there at his near post. Aye, because, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, great save. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm just very happy. I mean, if you're, if you're looking at if you're looking at me for support right now, you're not getting it. Uh, do you know what, though? It was a wee turn. He, he thought, moves out of the way of the thought, ball here. He, like, thought, he thought it was going the other way, though. He couldn't get set. Oh, he, he matrix dodges that ball. He did. He did. He sort of looks like a lad I went to school with. What, seven foot two? Well, he's not that. he wasn't that tall, but he was one of the tallest ones in our year, I I mean, for me to go, oh, well, he was taller than me, doesn't yeah, really mean much, does it, like? 
He was taller than a fucking toilet. Um, <laughs> Here, do you want to talk about Goblin King? I definitely should, shouldn't I? Saying as I haven't mentioned it at all. That's right. So yeah, the, well they're all sold out, which is fucking lethal. Got three three shows to look forward to. Willie T is gonna do support on one or two of them. Second one, um, I think I'm doing. I, but I'm I'm him and Han. I might have you do the other one as well. So I, I, you know? I'd. Be honoured to. I was quite presumptuous of me, but that's just the way I like to be, you know. No, yeah, but like I might it. have you do it, darling. I might have you reappear yeah. if your <laughs> performance is satisfactory. Yeah, I, I was, I was considering. So, uh, if my, ne- my nephew was meant to start stand up uh, this year, but he wasn't well there, so um, went to see big coat. Uh, I went to see a big coat wants to do it, but I would definitely want them to have. Done a few gigs. I don't before. be start. Can't you can't jump in on that like because yeah. it would be too much pressure. They sold out very very quickly. See, I thought I thought it did, like or rather I thought I knew the first one did and the second one felt like it did, and then the third one. I mean, mate, this is my level of patience, and maybe I'm just unrealistic, but like it took like two days longer. But then that was oh, literally. Did it? I was Chris. I was Christmas Day. Like, <laughs> and I'm yeah. still sitting there. I'm still sitting there. Get me updates uh, yeah. off Shang going, fuck's sake, lads. I, I, <laughs> You're sitting there playing this is, this is Feed the, same the World as when on. I started this dinner. <laughs> You're playing Feed the World on loop. <laughs> Keeper. Oh! Oh! He's hit the post! Jesus. Sorry. I I, when I did my I first Limelight show, it took like fucking eight months for it to sell out. So. I were you not, were you not doing it in the big room? Limelight 2? No, no, oh, my, okay. my first hour. This was about three years ago now, like, which is insane to think. It's mad to think that it's taken me quite a while to... Yeah, it's your first ever gorgeous. solo one, it? Properly, yes, because it did one that was just, like, it was in Accidental a couple of years ago, but it wasn't really, like, a show. Yeah. It was just me talking shit. Is, that, is he get Fuck up, Riff! <laughs> we pube. It wasn't even... It wasn't... I was running away with a baller, and he fucking did me for a fuck. It's offside, though. Well, as we say on Black's Road, stroked. Um, so, party rock. Delete that, delete that. Delete that? Delete that there. Fuck right off, you fucking cocksucker. Oh, well, he, well, he was offside. You fucking minge licking piece of shit. He was offside as well. Cut that, that's too much, I'm sorry. I went real Christian Bale, what? <laughs> I don't stand there when you're trying to light. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite thing is celebrity meltdowns. I fucking love it. What's your best one? What's your favourite one? The Charlie Sheen interview. I don't know the winning was, interview? Oh, but see if you want... Like, the winning wasn't even the top 10 funniest. There's that a bit wrong. in it. He goes, are you on drugs? He goes, yeah, I'm on a drug. It's called Charlie Sheen. That's the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> That's a, I say that all the time. There's another great interview where Easy e goes on Jimmy Kimmel Live and just confesses the murder in Easy e What? I swear to God, I'll show you it after. It's like, he does it in such a... Who confesses to it? Um, Suge Knight. Oh, Jesus. He's just like, we don't always have to kill him. Sometimes you just get AIDS and you put it in the bullet and you shoot a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my. Easy E style. Jesus. I, I, but then, like, everyone laughs and he goes, hang on, what the fuck did he just say? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the way he says Easy E style is, like, the coolest. He sits back and makes a cigar and goes... Easy style. Yeah. And I do and that now for everything. AIDS bullet. Yeah. Sounds. And then, did you ever watch That's So Raven or was that after your time? It was after my time, but I know what it is. There was Eddie from that was basically out of his mind on meth and just gives an interview where he talks about um, giving some good old fashioned head, shoulders, knees and toes to Raven Simone. <laughs> but he describes it as he goes, we had her in my trailer and I was giving some of that Mbap skilled up, I do bap, do that, I do bap. <laughs> he sings Mbap. <laughs> oh my god. I'll show god. you it after. That's how me and my friends describe getting the ride. It's like, did you take her home and give her some of that Mbap skilled up, I do bap, yay, yay. <laughs> what other songs could you do? <laughs> <laughs> None as good as Mbap. Mbap, it's pretty funny. Scab, I do bap. What's the one, uh. What what is the actual Scatman song? I can't remember that. I'm a Scatman. Give me a bit of pop pop I'm very upset. I've lost three in a row here. I'm fucking over the moon. Uh, I thought I would pull one off after after the somewhat dubious f- 
filming of Dave's special earlier. Um, <laughs> Dave's special. I uh, was well, the Rage Quit special. Um, oh. oh, Jesus! Chance. Right, my keeper's just. Oh, not... he was. I thought, what the fuck? The game just didn't work. Your there. keeper stroked, and then I tried to just make a deck of him, and it didn't work. Ah, gee. Did he give you a free foot or no? See, because that was a perfectly timed one. Um, mate, I've I've fucking ruined you here, like with a lesser side. You did, you did. I mean, far and square. Do you know? Do you know what I like about you, William? Shit. I like that you just you, you take the beating gracefully, like. Uh, you know do you know what I mean? Because I'd be there's on. No rage, there's no rage quits. There's no toys out of the pram. You know. I mean, you for sure would cry if I beat you, because I would. I think it would be I the sort of thing where I would just move to South America over, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing too drastic. You know, live in the favela, change my name. I would definitely do well in a place like that. I'm a very laid-back fella. Do you know what I mean? You're way more laid-back than I am. I, I, I find you're... Do you know how laid-back... This, this is how different we are. You being laid-back winds me up. <laughs> yeah. That's a truth, if ever there was one. Yeah, I think that's everyone's opinion of me. <laughs> I, I, I don't know that it is. I think a lot of people love that. I, 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 do you know what it is? I wish I could do it. That's what it is. Yeah, it's good up until, you know, you, you're too laid back with stuff and you just don't pay your tax. That's a joke. But, like, <laughs> you, you're, yeah, I'm too laid back with some shit. There's some shit, like, I should definitely sort. And I'm like, I'll get around to it and just don't. Yeah, that was you hitting the post there, a crucial moment. I don't know if you, if you want to relive Fucking these times. Sh- sister shagging bastard. Oh, name mate. Up. Who was that? Look at the sweat. Yeah, they do. They do a lot of sweat in this one, mate. Um, what was I going to say then? So yeah, so uh, Is that nice New the Year's Goblin now? King, mate. The Goblin King sold out. It was nice that it sold out quick. Uh, Are you I'm excited to count all your coins? I want them to fall on me uh, like pennies from heaven, mate. But um, I uh, I'm intrigued to see what it means for like doing something else, maybe later in the year. Yeah, you know. Which could be on the cards now when I didn't really think it was. Yeah. But um yeah. Do you have any other questions you want us to do before we yeah. talk off? Let me see. Only good ones, William. I don't want your, your leavings. Let me see. Only good ones. So I must have always Teddy Gleason in the ra. <laughs> Teddy Teddy Gleason. <laughs> Unreal. Uh fuck we got like ten more in in the time we play that game. Could Kieran teach William the guitar? No, I could teach. I could teach it. We have went over learn, this. You wouldn't learn it. I I I don't have the dexterity oh, no. to play the guitar. I I could teach. Could Kieran. you play the bass? No, I don't have that snap in the hand. Do you it. don't. You can play with a pick though. Maybe. Sorry. Go ahead. What? Sh- what? How am I holding a pick? You can play with your thumb as well. Just your thumb. I. It affects the whole hand. No, but you can hit your thumb off something, can't you? Oh, no, no, not, just not within rhythm. No, but no, but hold your thumb straight and just do that. No, you're just rubbing it in the me can't. Sorry, I don't have the rhythm. Like it, it's like you'll be really off rhythm because I can't keep doing it. I feel bad. Yeah, Sorry. you should. Um, should have taken your first answer, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, but no. You sure, sure you can do it. What you do it for? <laughs> Fuck a wee dick. Uh, can the co- podcast be done and? Entirely in Karen's southern lawyer voice, oblige us. Uh unlucky, like. Ah, uh, too late, you, you know. Also, I think a, after start. an hour, like, I might actually, you know, start doing southern things, you know. We don't want yeah. that. You know, it is the anniversary of the attack on the Capitol, like, you know what I mean? Well, I see, I see <laughs> you. How time doth fly. <laughs> no, when you're having fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, my, that's been a year already. Mm. I, do you know what? As much as like I don't like by like I'm I don't care for American politics. I'm just fucking glad to be done with Trump. I don't know that we are done with him. Cons from the yeah, shackle should gonna, not be arguing over American yeah, foreign he policy. Run again in, th- in three years. Yes. No, who I think is gonna run soon? The Rock. And I don't want them to because he'll win. The Rock. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne. She's <laughs> not even in politics yet. Because Donald Trump was such a fucking prolific senator. Do you know, that's my point. I will rip you open. <laughs> All right. Is that a threat? Or a <laughs> is, that, is that a promise? <laughs> my um, ability to get under his skin is second to none. I love it. I know, but Trump was hanging around it for a lot longer. Like, well, wasn't well, he? Like people were two years, about it for, two years before mm, when the actually. Apprentice got cancelled. That's when he did that press conference. Yeah. 
it was to get the apprentice back on her and he ended up just slobbering about mexicans and then everything spiraled it was really weird see when you go back to the roots of it it's really fucking strange yeah. that that's how it started and then he hired i didn't remember that that's mental he hired that pro the the press conference in the mall right and he was going to talk about how he should be back in the apprentice and then just went off on mexicans and everybody like, that's where build the wall came from fuck i didn't know and that. then that's the the slogan that then he was they actually put him in to the republican nomination as a bit of a fucking laugh yeah because they're like let's and then he just slaughtered everyone it's he, in a nine person so but you can't the rock would surely be going for the democrats wouldn't he yeah well i mean could he win do you think he would win yeah the it's rock a, it's america man i don't know he's, he's he's geared up for a big announcement soon I probably fucking Jumanji no, 3. Like, nah, you know it's I mean? not a movie or anything. He said it's his biggest thing he's ever done. Have you watched that movie with a minute with Ryan Reynolds? Red Notice? Nah, is it any good? It's all right. Let me check it out. Dan hates it. Um, I don't like The Rock. No, I, I, I liked think it. he's very likable. I liked him and he's too likable. No I don't one, like him no no because I like him too much. No, there's no edge to him. The Rock has an edge. No, he doesn't. Yes, oh does. yeah, I'll get up at five in the morning and bench. Fucking edgy, bro. Well, <laughs> oh, what's he doing? He's, e- sort of he's like... eating large meals of protein. Whoa. Well, what's edgy? Like, what is edgy then? Johnny Depp threatening to like beat your girl. That's Johnny edgy. Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp is cutting off your husband's. Imagine, finger, imagine edgy. Johnny Depp if he was from Belfast. He'd have got his fuck kicked in years ago. It had just been in fresh garbage the whole time. That's where he'd work. <laughs> Trying to sell you incense and a Try, fucking head scarf. Yeah, trying to sell you something that's yeah. definitely a bong, but it's labelled as yeah. like a vase or something. Yeah. Do you want a grinder and a fucking oh, it's lighter the... that's also a Kermit the Frog <laughs> statue? Or do you, do you Johnny Depp. Stick this gothic dress on, or I'll smack you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know, mate. I, I, what, what's edgy? What's edgy? If the Rock doesn't have an edge, what's edge? How is he edgy in any way? He's, he's in all the action films. Is that not a bit edgy? Like, not really. Do you know what I mean? He's very... Don't get me wrong, I don't dislike him. I don't think he's a bad guy. It's just that that James Corden style of... It's too fake. You're comparing The Rock to James Corden? In their public persona, yeah. Oh my god. When's the last time The Rock was just steaming on Instagram Live? Just being racist. That's not being edgy. Just being being racist as fuck. Yeah, exactly. He's too nice. I want to see The Rock just be like, do you know what it is? I don't want to fucking see, everybody, see any more Europeans at my Everybody's shows. being too nice though at the minute because if you're ever remotely not nice, even if you're just being normal, yeah. you get fucked. Yeah. Like, the, like, oh, mate. Like, if we're only going to accept art from perfect people, be shit. it's going to be a pretty quiet fucking yeah. world. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Van Gogh was a stalker and he cut off his own ear. Yeah. And he's ginger. Pizza. Never forget that. Stinking and he's Dutch too. Yeah. The fucking freak. Get fucking skin cancer every time he opens the fridge. <laughs> um, but that's it. No music has ever came from anyone sound, like completely signed. No great music. You know what I mean? When Paul McCartney like, lost all the edgy boys, he it was is, dancing with a fucking frog course. It, it is hard to actually think about that because even if you think about what are quite wholesome acts... Like, I was about to go, what about Frank Sinatra? And then you go, he loves oh, wh- the mob. What um, about Frank? <laughs> wider, oh, old blue eyes himself. <laughs> old blue eyes. I definitely know the person who shot JFK yeah, Sinatra. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, it is actually difficult to go, what great music do you know yeah. that has come from somebody who's not a bit fucking yeah. rare? Like, do you know, I hear the people who are like, you play the Beatles, like, do you know John Lennon beat his wife? Yeah, but also Eleanor Rigby. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't know his wife, and I like that song, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I didn't know his wife, but I like that song. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Yeah. Oh, did, did, did you know he was the one that came in and said the band that were breaking up? Yeah. Paperback writer. <laughs> yeah. do, 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 do. I've been really getting into George Harrison recently, and I don't know why. That's mad, though. I watched like, a couple of interviews My with him sweet recently. Lord. And I don't know why. Oh. What do you call that one? That it, Here Comes the Sun? That's a fucking... Do, 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 do. Something's a banger, too, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, I was fucking. Did you ever play rock band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I am um, fu- like I got so good at that I could well, do guitar it was more, and sing. It was more. I uh, was class at it. I played more guitar hero than rock band. Yeah, yeah, the same, same, same shit. Like, yeah, uh, guitar hero we used to get. Do you know what's weird? Actually, probably the better yard the guitar. Yeah, the shitter yard. Almost guitar the more hero. useless yard. Yeah, because you're actually trying to do something 
Do you no. be doing the guitar instead of just being fucking told what to do by the thing? Yeah. Um. So like my mate Johnny was really shit at it, even though he's like a supreme guitar player compared to me. Like. Yeah. I'd be sitting there fucking. You know what I mean? He could actually play like these mad songs, and I'm sitting there going, "Whatever, dick." And yeah. Here's me fucking. I'm slashing it up. I'm great at singing, like sing star and shit. I'm great at those, and I know people who are properly good singers who I would beat. Cause I'm because flat. You, yeah, but you follow. But the, I'm on the pitch. Yeah. I can pitch my voice up and down really flat, well. but on the pitch. Yeah. A bit like this, William. A bit. I, that might be a good note to end on. I can see my Dave. William Thompson yeah. is flat, but he's on the pitch. That's why he lost three games in a row. What was it? Fucking four one. Two one. Was it three one? Four one three one three one. I think it might no, have. That one was th- that get, one was three one. You get fucking red. That game I should have won. I'm disappointed in that one. Um, so I'm very happy with how this has gone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, next week, we will have another comedy guest uh, who I can't remember <laughs> right now. But uh, join us and uh, play FIFA and send questions and uh, any thoughts you have to us. Cheers. Take it easy. Oh, no.